Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at a multimodal AI model that can help you, you know, with radiology reporting. So if you are a radiologist or if you are working in the field of healthcare and you require, you know, an AI to generate radiology reports, you know, of course, for research purposes and probably not using it in the clinical settings, right? And you can use AI models to do that. So I'm going to cover a model and can also show you how you can run it and with live examples that how it can help you with grounded reporting, you know, with grounded truth and not only non grounded, which, you know, earlier models used to do it. So AI in healthcare is already a very hot topic and I'm going to cover this multimodal AI model by Microsoft named Myra2. So how you can use Myra, which is a multimodal transformers that has used an image encoder and a language model. So it has used, you know, Vicuna model as a language model and Rad, you know, as an image encoder to basically, you know, uh, create features from those images and, you know, X-ray scans or whatever you call it. And that can generate reports, you know, uh, for you. So if you are somebody who is working in the research field, you know, uh, in the radiology domain, you can use this model. So let's have a look how we can do that. So if you look at here on my screen, I am currently on a hugging face a page of Microsoft uh, Myra 2. I don't know if this is how we pronounce it. It says a multimodal transformer designed for generation of grounded or non grounded radiology reports. We'll not be that interested in non grounded thing, you know, from X from chest x-rays and it's built for research purposes by the way this is not the first model in this family of myra like it's uh, it's built on previous models like myra one and there was a model called lava you know that has used you know in multimodal with multimodal data to kind of perform different tasks right so it's not a new model in this family but of course the second variant and it's composed as i said of the image encoder rad dino myra 2 and uh vicuna 7b which is a fully fine-tuned language model of course they would have fine-tuned on radiology reports i'm pretty sure about it and first of all you cannot use this model commercially so if you want to make money you cannot use this this is good for research purposes so keep this in mind you cannot use this in real production settings only for research now it only works with english re english reports right now blah 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 and i'm going to show you that so i'm just going to give you this link so you can check it out i'm already running this on a hundred gpu on my google collab i'll give you this notebook so let me show you you first have to you know get these things in even you know, you log in with your Hugging Face Hub because it's a gated model. You need uh, uh, you need to first log in and then you can get it. I already have downloaded the model. You can see the model has been loaded and then I will come to this part later. Now, we are going to use these uh, X-rays, you know, frontal views and lateral views. You can see uh, this is lateral views of a chest X-ray. This is the frontal views of a chest X-ray. And this is coming from openai.nlm.nih. Uh, not open AI, my bad. We are so obsessed with open AI. You know, it's open I.nlm. So if I go to open I dot NL, oh, I don't know why I'm writing. NIH.gov, right? Uh, not images. Let's go to this here. Okay. Now here you can search by chest x-rays or something, whatever. I don't know if this is the right term. Probably this might throw an error. Chest x-rays, when you do it, you know, it will generate uh it will give you all the records that they have available as an open source you can see it says uh, national library of medicine which is very surprising when i did chest x-rays i don't know why it's not retrieved but that is fine might take a bit of time yeah but you can also use their apis they have an api to use it if you are building something you know uh, with this image type you can see if you come to x-ray here and you can use this uh apis to work with so I, i'm using just these two images uh frontal and lateral now it's very important because for a radiologist, which is already very less in numbers globally, you know, there are a lot of AI models, you know, that can be used uh, to look at an image and try to find out anomalies, you know, within the X-rays, CTs, MRIs, and try to help radiologists to make decisions faster. Of course, not influence the decisions, but just try to find out something which they might miss it because they have so much of so much of data to deal with, right, on daily basis. Now. Uh, when I talk about this, uh, 
when people used to build these kind of models earlier, they used to you know rely on traditional evaluations metrics like blue and root scores, you know, for these kind of things. But you know, in this, they have used something called rad fact, you know, which is which is uh, really different the way we used to you know do evaluations. They they use rad fact for they use a model they use llama three seventy b if I'm not wrong as a language model to do intelligent based report evaluations they use precision recalls you know grounding precision recall logical precision recall spatial precision for the bounding boxes so on and so forth so it's a comprehensive evaluations metrics that they have designed called rad fact that they use in this model while they have trained it which is really good so they have used a lot of data if you are somebody who has worked in healthcare that i do i i've been heavily working in the healthcare field for so many years now you know there are a lot of data that you can use like mimic for example you know a pad chase usmix and iu xray there are a lot of data that mira has you know has been has been trained on you know and to create they have also used prior studies to help reduce hallucinations which is a big thing so this is really a good model i really liked it the way you know, it is performing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this. And of course, this will be available. So what we are doing here, you can see it says get sample data. We are using, you know, open eye uh, here, nlm.nih to get these images and we get this data. So if you, you know, print this sample data, you can find out the frontal letter, all these details. And then we have, we are binding this model on GPUs because we are using GPU so we can get faster results. You know. If it will not work on CPUs, by the way. This, this will crash. You need some sort of GPUs to use it. So I just transferred everything on GPUs if it finds it. And then I am probably not going to cover this in too much of detail because that's not my thing because this is pretty easy, right? You can do with any Transformers model. You first create the input IDs, tokenize it, get these input IDs, get the logits, then get the results, and then decode the, decode the IDs to get the results, right? That's what we are doing over here. You can see everything. Uh, that we have now it, it gives you i'm more interested in the gradio app so let me just show you that how you can you know do build these kind of things and let me just import the gradio app i'll give this code guys you don't have to worry about it you know uh, this entire notebook will be available now if you click on this link right it will open a gradio application you know over here and in this gradio application now in this in this gradio application if you look at here i'll just plug in my charger now here we get it's called myra2 cxr report generator it says enter urls of the front L and lateral chest x-ray images and relevant metadata click generate findings to see the automatic relevance. what i have done i have created a gradio app around it so you can give the image urls you know, make sure that image URLs are accessible. If you give image URLs which are not accessible, so for example, if I copy this and come here and paste it, you can see the images are available over here, right? Now, uh, this in indication, and you can also part of pass some uh, text uh, with it. Basically, giving a bit more context to the model so it can understand. So you can see the indications. I have passed indications, techniques that how the images have been taken, PA and lateral views of the chest. Now, when you click on the generate findings, what it's going to do, it's going to show you the frontal image and the lateral image over here. And once you see it, it's going to generate a finding. So you can see these are the images that we see it over here as well, right? And we get this over here as well. Now, if you look at the generated findings, I'll make it a bit larger for you so you can read it. And you can see it says there is a large right pleural effusion with associated right bacillar. I am not a doctor, by the way, I'm not a radiologist. Uh, at, what, I don't know how, how to pronounce is this, but etilicetasis or something. The left lung is clear. No pneumothorax is identified. The cardio media, uh, media still I mean, it's very difficult to pronounce it. But yeah, it gives you some findings, right? A very short. You can again increase this uh, in your. Uh, when you are running this code here, right? We have 450. If you need grounded generation, make sure this is set to 450. You know, if you use it, but yeah, max new token, but you can again increase this to get even uh, comprehensive output. And you can again make sure that you can uh, write custom prompt for as well, right? So to get this or uh, to tailor this in your style, it says surgical clips are noted in the right upper current of the 
uh, app domain. I don't know what they're talking probably about this or something. You know, yeah, this is what it is probably surgical clips. There is no free air under the diaphragm or something. The left lung is clear. So you can basically use Myra to, to you know, help you find uh, anomalies or generate some findings that will help you, you know, in your work, in your research. And it's really uh, intuitive to use it. You can again fine tune it. I will also create a video very soon that how you can how we can probably fine tune it and use it on other data sets to make sure that you know it also replicate the same. So this will be available for you. This notebook will be available in order to use it. And once once you use it, let me know what you are building with these models, right? If you are if you are building anything new apart from this, uh, it it will be really great to know. And if you like the content, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos. If you have any questions, thoughts, or feedbacks, let me know in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channel. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.